Hello and welcome back to Sequest Slayer Plays, Kingdom Hearts, Birth by Sleep, Final Mix. When we last left off, we wiped off the last trace of Aeneas. This episode, we're going to be taking on the last secret boss. And with it, we will be finished with this game. But there is one thing I want to go over first. One thing we never really touched up on. First off, I'm going to save. I don't believe it gives you all of them in one profile. If it does, I'm, I'm gonna check it really fast. Open menu. I have to check that. Why is this not new? Okay. Why is this... What happened? Okay. Secret reports. No, it doesn't give you all of them in one. So, I'm not going to go to the title screen. And show you what I'm talking about. Trinity Archives. Uh, yes, I've gotten a bunch of stuff. Secret reports. Starting with Xehanort's letter, we will read through all 13 of these reports. Yes, Xehanort's letter technically counts as number one. Please accept my dearest, my deepest gratitude for the invitation to witness your pupil's ascension to the office of true Keyblade Master. It was a heavy mantle our master placed upon your shoulders and gave you successor. You have nonetheless persevered in ways two masters yourself. I know it cannot have been easy. I did you terrible harm in the past over a petty difference in opinion. And just a few years ago, selfishly thrust my own burdens upon you. I think of you like a younger blo like a younger brother. And yet Contrary, here you are inviting me to such an important ceremony. I intend to be there to offer you all my blessings. Our master chose to chose his hair wisely. Ours is a bizarrely ironic task to watch over the light from the shadows. But in the face of that, the warmth in your heart and unfailing dedication will press the light. To the light impress me to no end. I have taken to wandering the world, and seen much darkness hiding in the light. Lately, I fear it has taken a turn for the worse. Perhaps yet the sin has already told you about the unrest. These fleshly emotions derive from negativity, and I can now sense the presence of the light in the Examination, perhaps, to see if he has the mark of mastery. The choice is yours, and I will humbly respect your decision. Take care. I eagerly await our long overdue reunion. Xehanort's Report 1 Much time has passed since I left the home of my youth behind. In the myriad worlds I have since visited, I have gained much knowledge. On these pages, I intend to record a portion of that knowledge and put the course of my life to paper. Upon reflection, my life underwent the most considerable sea change when I arrived at that place. Yes. It began when I found a master. Another I would later call my brother. I found a new home. There was the key. For what purpose was it begotten? During my training as one of its wielders, the precepts offered a clear answer. The Keyblade existed so that we who watched over the light could protect the world from the shadows. But what 
what was the true answer. Could there not be more to it than that? My heart sought knowledge, and so I sometimes visited other worlds, though such travel was forbidden in this day of life, and found what my heart sought. Xehanort Report 2 our master instructed us to don armor while traveling between worlds, so we might shield ourselves from the darkness. But there, in the lanes between, I could feel the force of, of it. The power. And from then on, I forewent my armor's protection. I have been told that darkness would devour me, but what terrors could it possibly hold, so long as I found the strength to control it? Fast, and the worlds within the great world are uncountable. Like literal islands, they dot the great ocean between, which keeps them ignorant of each other, uncorrupted. Each world had its own world. Unlike us, they could not know the world in its entirety. In ancient times, no such buffers kept the larger world. of the Keyblade's true use. War broke out as each of the Keyblade wielders struggled to lay claim to an almighty entity known as Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts could be described as an aggregate of hearts. Worlds, too, have hearts. Just like people, each world's heart is concealed from sight, beyond a hidden door. By gathering all the hearts of the worlds in a single place, one may complete Kingdom Hearts. Report 4. And when Kingdom Hearts is complete, it is said the one who opens its door shall bring about the creation of the next world. Such a feat is above any human. Or, put in a different way, whoever opens that door will be reborn as something far greater than human. Light and darkness are two sides of the same coin. Without darkness, Blade Wielder's great war of the Kingdom Hearts was fought by defenders of the light, servants of darkness. Those who sought to reconcile the two, and those motivated, motivated by nothing more than lust for power. A whole spectrum of thought was swept into the conflict, and the worlds that did not go to war found the war brought to them. In the end, the whole world was cast into darkness. That is how the ancient Keyblade War drew to a close. To this day, no one has ever managed to open the door to Kingdom Hearts. Some time later, the little light that remained in the hearts of the few gave rise to the world we know today. One made of many worlds behind just as many walls, so that the Keyblade War set foot there have ever returned. Report number six. There are three familiarities of Keyblades. The Keyblades of Light we willed, Keyblades of Darkness, and Keyblades of Heart. First and second families differ only in origin. Keyblades of Darkness are found in the Realm of Darkness, and are counterparts to the Keyblades we use in the Realm of Light. The third type of key, 
Keyblade of Heart came into existence when the world was reorganized after the Keyblade War. Without this key, Kingdom Hearts is forever beyond a person's reach. Only by gathering together seven hearts of pure light, hearts completely devoid of darkness, may one forge a Keyblade of Heart and open the door to Kingdom Hearts. And as stated before, opening this door arguably gives that person control over all worlds. I have uncovered the Keyblade's ultimate mystery. You see, besides the three families of Keyblades, there's another Keyblade. I may sound the same as spoken. There's no notated uniquely Keyblade. And no mistake, but it resembles a normal Keyblade. It is something altogether different. Keyblades are said to be man-made counterparts to Kingdom Hearts. The Keyblade, however, coexists with Kingdom Hearts. It is only forged when two hearts of equal power intersect, one heart of pure darkness, and one of pure light. At the time of its forging, Kingdom Hearts appears. It must be noted, though, that this Kingdom Hearts is special. Unlike the kingdoms brought about forcibly and artificially through the collection of hearts, this Kingdom Hearts is a perfect and complete union of all the world's hearts. Surely, it was over this that the ancient king was fought. If so, the walls that divide the world's Erechus and I did not see eye to eye. I left and wandered the world. This was perhaps the first time I felt truly free since that day I departed my boyhood home. But free to do what? I had already shown the mark and became a Keyblade Master. But having been passed over as successor, all that remained to me was the road of teacher. Ordinarily, Keyblade Masters take pupils under their wings malleable minds in which to impress the precepts of the Keyblade wielder and keep our profession alive for generations to come. Was my time drawing to an end? Then, after all I had accomplished since casting away the place of my birth, surely waiting for a quiet death would not do. Not when there was still so much I needed to see for myself. Powers help me. Masters have a special gift. We can extract our heart, be it our own or that of another. By continuing this cycle, it is possible to remain in the world of the living forever. As a boy, I dreamed of seeing the farthest reaches of the world. If I only went far enough, there had to be a world out there in which no one's ever before seen it. And now I know just such a world. If I became the first to open Kingdom Hearts' door, I can create a next world in which light and darkness exist in perfect equilibrium. So there I stood, with vast knowledge in one gnarled, dying hand, and newfound purpose in the other. The next step was clear. I needed a new vessel. And that was when I met Ventus and made him my pupil. We were destined to meet, and I could sense the potential within him. The boy was too benign for his own good. I came to the conclusion he was too frail to serve as a vessel. I decided to use him for a second purpose I had in mind. I would remove the darkness from his heart and split him in two. Then I would have my heart of pure light and heart of pure darkness. For ten, as was to be expected, Ventus lacked. Strong enough to one day clash, I knew the kind.
tie blade would be forged. But Venetus took too much of Ventus's heart, and from that fracture I could see the last of Ventus's light was slipping away. The boy deserved a place to spend his final moments peacefully, and what should come to mind with my own boyhood home. My legs took me there, unbidden, as I stood there on the same beach where I made my choice so many years ago. I thought, not a th single thing has changed here. In this quiet world, time marshes in place. Content that Ventus would find peace here, I started to walk away. But just then, the boy held up his keyblade. The light within him had not died. Report 11. Ventus and Venetus were not matched in power. I could not train them together, but Venetus' darkness would gnaw away what little Ventus had left. Of course, since I needed a place where the boy's light might flourish, the answer was obvious. Erechus and his absolutes. Considering how we had parted ways, I expected friction. If anything, Erechus seemed delighted to see me. He readily agreed to take care of Ventus. But Erechus had already found two pupils of his own, and one of them. Terror. I sense something. The boy, though well-intentioned, seeks power single-mindedly. And that kind of hunger is a seedbed for darkness. I had found my vessel. Report 12. The time has come. I have received word from Erechus that his pupils are to become true Keyblade Masters. Terra and Aqua. They will be easy now to lure into the outside world, but Ventus will get nowhere without him. Venetus can feel some of what Ventus feels. He says Terra is the key. Ventus has loved Terra like a real brother ever since he let him keep his own key. It seems we have found the most of the the length of an entire episode. I did not expect that. I honestly didn't. Well shoot, now I'm torn between going on to the next part and ending the episode off here. The episodes lately have been running short, so let's try and put this in here now. Sorry if you noticed a little bit of a disturbance there, but... I reset the, re the record by my, my card, my recording card, to make sure it didn't stop in the middle of the rest. Now we visit the land of departure. One last time.
the greatest music in the game in any in any game so far that I've played. Kingdom Hearts 3 is not out yet, by the way. Let me tell you that right now. And what is the organization doing here? They weren't created yet. Hmm. Let me do one thing really fast, though. Also, please stop telling me that. Edit deck. Uh, Kyrega? 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 Kyrega. There we go. Now that right there is a perfect item set for this. Well, not perfect, but as good as we can get right now. I mean, we don't have any of the surges. I'm going to set up to shut up so you can listen to music, my favorite. Incredibly hard boss, by the way. You could block those. I'm guessing you can't now. Don't load, don't load, don't load. Back, 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 back. There we go. Just so I can turn it and block it, I guess I just can't do that.
It's a combo. Apparently it doesn't now, but I'll cut ahead to where I get one of his bo one bar of health down. I'll see you then. when I died last, right? One health bar down? Well, I'll see you when I get there again. I'm making some progress, not much, but some. I'll see you when I get back there.
I'll cut ahead for while I get back there. Yes, that is foreshadowing, alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Got no name. A keyblade with long reach that provides an outstanding boost in magic and makes it easier to land critical hits. Oh my god. Believe it or not, I have played almost every. I have played literally every version of every Kingdom Hearts game so far, and that is the only boss I have never beaten in my life. I can now say I've beaten. Every boss of every Kingdom Hearts game. Oh my god, no name. Which is ironic, cause that's also the name of Xehanort's Keyblade. Ugh. Anyways. That'll be it for this game. So if you enjoyed this episode. Oh, well, actually, first off. Unknown. A mysterious figure whose origins, identity, and purpose are unclear. Oh, Organization 13. Never cease to surprise me. With how difficult this one can be. This one in particular. Anyways, like I said, if you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time for another game. Likewise, if you enjoyed this game, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time for another game. I'm still deciding whether I'll go and do the last Kingdom Hearts game that I can record and then wait until Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out the next year or if I'll just do something different and then do the next game sometime afterwards. I'll probably do the next game as soon as this one comes, like, after this one and then I'll have a lot of time to play other games and kind of branch out a little bit more Maybe for you guys who don't like Kingdom Hearts and were just begging me to stop because I've been doing Kingdom Hearts for like almost a year now. Yeah. Anyways, I will see you then.